Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. You know, they say that necessity is the mother of invention. And uh, when you're a cheap 3D printer, sometimes necessity and invention means uh, coming up with some way to fix things on your own. Uh, a little bit of ingenuity. So last night I had a moment of necessity, which uh, today ended up in a moment of ingenuity. So um, last night I was having trouble printing. I was having trouble with uh, uh, extrusion, just things weren't working well. Uh, I was using some wood filament, it was just not working out well. As a matter of fact, um, this is baby Groot, and that's about all I got of him. Um, and uh, so I was having some trouble with that. So I switched filaments thinking maybe it's just a filament issue. Still having extrusion problems with that. And uh, took my hot end all apart, tried to clean it all out, put it back together, still had problems. Took it apart again, still had problems. And uh, I figured that the Teflon tube in my heat break uh, was a mess. And so um, I have this uh, clone uh, hot end. Uh, clone E3D hot end, and it is not a full metal or all metal hot end. It does have the Teflon tube in it. And so um, I didn't have any spares. I didn't, I had never bought a new uh, heat break, and so I didn't have any spares sitting around. And so I was out of commission. So my printer was sitting last night in pieces, and um, I came home today and I thought, you know what? Maybe I can come up with a solution. So I have this Bowden tube from when I switched over to the E3D hot end. I have this Bowden tube goes to the Bowden to the extruder in a Bowden setup, and I have some leftover um, Teflon tube from that. Now this is too thick. This is too big of uh, of stuff to go into the hot end. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'll try something. So I took some sandpaper. And I sanded down, sanded down, sanded down, sanded down, all the way around, all the way around, trying to get it as round as I could, but sand it down to a smaller outside diameter. And I finally got it to work. And I got it to the size that it needed to be to go into that heat break. And you can see we're printing again. And uh, I'm a happy camper because now I can print again. So um, it's not a permanent fix. It's definitely something that... Um, as soon as my all metal heat breaks come in, which they should be in tomorrow night, um, I will be back using, I will switch those out for the all metal hot, uh, heat breaks and get going again. But it did get me going for now and got me to the point where I could print and it's printing nicely. It's doing a good job. It is currently printing, uh, some of those, uh, 3d printed CW keys that I talked about in another video. And you can actually see that up here. Um, if you click there and, um, but anyway, if you come up with a problem, the point is if you come up with a problem, find a solution to it. Um, take that moment of necessity and take it to invention and, and come up with some solution that you can get by with. Because that's really what cheap 3D printing is all about, really, is coming up with ways that you can get the product done or get the, get the print done without having to go blow a whole bunch of money. And so I used just this little bit of uh, tube, took some sandpaper, sanded 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 like crazy till i got it in there and it works and now i'm up and printing i ordered the heat uh the heat breaks they will be in in a few days and i'll switch back over to those uh, because they'll be a more permanent solution but i'm back up and running so anyway if you like what i'm doing here on the cheap 3d printer click subscribe below click the thumbs up uh, like button if you want to know when i do more videos make sure that you click that bell down there and it'll alert you whenever i make new videos and, uh, and get new stuff out to you. So have a great day, keep printing, and keep printing cheap.